Tack Junkies. What's going on, everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. And I appreciate you staying past this point. I know when you see this ugly dude here, you're, you're wanting to click off. I figure my good looks. <laughs> All right, enough of that. So here's the deal. We really haven't done a whole lot. Well, you've, you've done some fishing. You, you, you went on a um, float trip. He caught like a two pound smallie, his PB, on the dang scushy bug. Yeah. Right? But uh, haven't done a ton of fish in here lately. You guys can, might be able to see it. There's a little like, you guys see that back there? What's that? It's a big Minn Kota box. There's something new coming to the channel. Would have already been here. Uh, and really that's why I didn't have too many videos last couple weeks because I had those videos planned but whatever it is that we bought came in damaged so i'm waiting on another one so that's why you haven't seen what that goes to yet but you will hear soon hopefully it should actually be in this coming week anyways i don't want this video to be everywhere um it's hot we're not doing a ton of fishing it's gonna be like 98 like all next week um it's hot <laughs> so we're not doing a ton of fishing but we're doing a lot of, well, I guess I should say this. I try to do some organizing. I don't know if you guys can see. I got a lot of big bins on the boat going through tackle, filling some boxes and all that. And I'm trying to get a lot of that done, but I ended up just giving Mike a lot of tackle. And like, you probably can't see it. There's a dozen uh, Plano Edge boxes on the table in front of us here that Mike stole from me. And we end up just kind of organizing his boxes. But one that uh, he loves, I mean, who doesn't love frog fishing, right? Everyone loves frog fishing, and Mike really wanted to, you know, put a frog box together. He's got plenty of frogs here. And he thought, like, he had, like, the baddest frog box, like, on the planet. Yeah. I just kind of chuckled a little bit, you know. <laughs> but... It kind of uh, sparked an idea for a video. You guys have been asking for a video on the new Plano Edge Frog Box. I use this one, and I also use this one, okay? And Michael uses this one. So we have three different ways. Man, this chair is so squeaky. <laughs> Mine's not. So we have three, so we have three different ways that we, I don't know what you guys are gonna say, why don't you stop buying boxes and buy a new chair? <laughs> stop buying all the frogs, buy a new chair. I mean, I probably could, I don't really need 200 frogs. I probably could stop buying frogs and buy a new chair. That's another video. Frogs are better. Frogs are better. But it kind of sparked an idea for a video to show you guys how we organize our frogs and a chance to showcase the new Plano Edge frog box. I guess it's not brand new, but, um, new Plano Edge Frog Box. So I thought it would be pretty cool to make this video. And something else that we talked about, you know, Mike Mike is basically a beginner, right? And he's got, like I said, a lot of boxes laid out here and they're filled with certain baits at a certain way. And I've done beginner tackle organization, things like that. And, I, and there's other ones that I want to do as well. But it might be kind of cool for Michael to do some videos as well because he's going to have a different take on it. He's going to be throwing different things. He's gonna pack these boxes differently for certain reasons and all that, you know. So I thought it might be cool for him to do it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that down below as well. What we're going to do is let Mike run with the first box. Oh, all right. I'm sure I'll have to chime in here <coughs> to, to get it going. Uh -huh. But he had a lot of the 30, well, I mean, I had a lot of the 3,600 edge boxes. Then Mike took a bunch of them from me. So now Mike has a bunch of them. But with the amount of frogs that he had, uh, these particular boxes wouldn't hold all of his frogs. And mainly because of the dividers. We needed to get the dividers out of there. And with his bag, he's using the 3600 series boxes. So this was the option that we came up with. Should I keep going? Yeah, you definitely should. We got this beauty. We got a picture beauty. there. Yeah. Well, if we're going to do videos, it's going to talk a little, a little clearer. <laughs> well, you don't like hearing me talk anyway. So what we have here, this is the Plano Edge Flex Box. Okay. 
And what Mike did was, I mean, it, it doesn't come with any dividers actually in it. It comes all in like a package. And obviously the slots are all around the box. And if you choose to, you know, build out your box however you need to, you can, or you can just leave it empty. And that's what Big Mike did here. Mm -hmm. I'm give him a little gander at it. My beautiful box. I got 20 frogs in here, I think. So we can see he's got 20 frogs. And if you just kind of shake it around a little bit, I mean, he's probably got room for... Probably two more. Three. And I do apologize for the glare. I can see that there can be a glare, but you know, I can do about that. But yeah, he could probably fit another four or five frogs. So I guess, I guess he can go steal another four or five frogs from me. Because a lot of these do look pretty familiar. <laughs> yeah. But 20 something frogs in the 3600 Plano Edge flex box. So that's definitely one option, okay? Now, guys, this has been my frog box for, gosh, 15 years, if not longer. And this, this is not even a Plano box. This is the uh, Bass Pro XBS 3700 series box here, okay? And just at a quick glance here, let's go ahead and count the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can easily fit one more. So 15, probably 15 in these top three rows. You probably won't get 15 in the bottom row just because of the handle there. So you're losing some space, but probably 45. I'm going to say probably around maybe 55 frogs, oh give or take. I mean, if you really want to cram them in there, you could, but probably like, 50, 55 frogs, I'm sure you can fit in one of these boxes. And that's just a standard box, it's not a deep. Okay, obviously you can get a deep box as well. You can get a deep flex box, which Mike has right here as well. But, I guess I'll get to that point here in a second. Uh, but anyways, this is one way, one way or another way to do it here. Just take out the dividers. Obviously you still have the, the main dividers there. And you can organize them by color, by brand, popping, standard, whatever you want to do. I just pretty much have them all throw it in here. But um, that's definitely another way to do it. Now, it doesn't have a waterproof seal on it. Um, so, obviously, water can get in the box. If water does get in the box, things could rust. I add these. I think they're called bullfrog, if you guys can see that. It's in the lid there. It's a bullfrog. Um, it's basically a, kind of like a foam sticker that has some sort of, like, rust blocker in it use those for years as well never really had any rust on my frogs but i do make sure that i put them away dry obviously they do hold water and all that so just make sure that they're dried out there's no water in them before you put them away and i know a lot of guys have issues too with some of the legs sticking together and i know a lot of guys add like um baby powder and all that to their boxes i've never had that issue and it could be just because i make sure everything is dry before i put it away or maybe I don't have uh, one frog next to another one that causes the issue, but I have a lot of different frogs here, a lot of different brands, and I haven't run across uh, that issue yet. So just something to think about there. But anyways, yeah, so 50, 55 frogs, and this box here is probably, I don't know, $12, $15 box. So a cheaper option there, gets it done, no problem. Like I said, I've been using it for like 15 years, and it works, works great, okay? Now, Time for the big boy. The big boy. Okay. Now this box here, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say from the jump, it's probably not for everyone. Like Michael would have an issue using this box because he's using a, a book bag. He doesn't have a boat, and he can fit what four or five of the 3600s in his bag. So this is definitely not going to fit. Okay. If you're a boat guy and you have limited storage, let's say you have like a section for like 3,700 series boxes. Well, if you look at the thickness of this box, say all your boxes you know, stand up like this. Well, I mean, you can, you can put like three of these, you know, in a compartment where this one would go. So if you have slots for 3,700s, this is going to take up like three of them, okay? But it is short enough, it may fit in other spots in your boat. So, I mean, definitely some other places you can store other than your dedicated 3700 series box, you know, place. But uh, just keep that in mind, it's a bit wider. Obviously, it's shorter, 
but it's definitely a bit wider, you know, much wider than a 3700 series box, okay? Now this box here, Plano Edge, obviously it's got all the, the fancy features, you know, from the one-handed latch, clear lid, waterproof seal, uh, the water wick system, rust block and all that, so your frogs are not going to rust in this box. This box will hold, it will hold uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 frogs. Okay, so it's not going to hold as many as like a standard, you know, 3700 series box. Unless it might come in with the 36 flex, holding probably, probably 25 or so in that. So again, keep in mind how many frogs you have and not everybody's gonna have. I mean, I got 10, 20, 5, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I got 41 in here. I got 55 in here. <laughs> I got another box back there with another 50 in it. Not everybody's gonna have 150 frogs. So that's probably not going to be an issue for most people, okay? But, where was I going with that? You were gonna go with, but this, I have a lot of frogs. So oh yeah, just, just keep in mind, yeah, just, just keep in mind. I just, it, just, it just went out the window. It went out the garage door. I guess we're getting at the amount of frogs that it holds. It holds 50, so less compared to a 3700 series box, but it depends on your needs, right? If you ain't got 50 or more frogs, this box is good. So, and of course you can always get more. You know, that's why I have four of these. <laughs> that's why I have four of these. So, I mean, I'm definitely digging the box for sure. The thing that I notice the most about it, okay, when you're looking in your box, so if I open this lid, and I open this lid, okay? The thing that you're going to notice with the edge box here is you can see all your colors. You can see whether they're a standard frog, a popping frog, you can see the colors clear as day. You can see your brands, I mean, you can tell by the nose. When they're all laying down in a 3700 series box, obviously you can only see what's on top. So you have to move all your frogs around to see everything that you have. Not a big deal at all. Again, you can do, uh, you can or organize them row by row, have certain brands in each row and all that to know what you have. There's other ways to do it. I'm just throwing that out there. And, you know, but with this box here, I can see exactly what I have. I can look at 50 frogs here and know exactly which one is which versus digging for them. So not a huge deal, but wanted to throw that out there. Um, I don't really have any issues with like my tails and all that getting kinked in these boxes just because you know that type of rubber doesn't really like kink up but again they kind of just hang here in these boxes so again nothing is getting um, bent up and you don't have to worry about the legs getting caught in the lid and all that just because they're down in the box but really all you do is you just take either end here and you just pop it out and then obviously you just raise up your frogs here I mean it's it's definitely a pretty slick system, and all you do is just take the frog and slide it off the little piece of steel there. So, I mean, it's a pretty slick system. The only thing that I've um, come across when I load them up, I went ahead and took it all the way out, like so. So I got 10 frogs on there. So trying to get it in there with all the legs and all that, it can be a bit of a job, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. Just kind of move all the legs around, move all the frogs around. Just kind of manipulate them a little bit, get them down in there. And then you're good. So I mean, not a, not a huge deal. Then it pops into place and you're good to go. Like I said, you just take one end, pop it up like so, and then you can just grab your frog. You don't have to take it completely off to pick out a frog. If you want a frog in the middle, lift it up. Grab the second frog, when you're done with it, hook it back on there, like so. Shove it down in there, and you're good. I mean, it's it's a pretty slick system here. And I got all sorts of frogs in here, from smaller frogs, thicker frogs, like these here are all like Booyah frogs, Pad Crashers, Six Cents, um, those are Jack All. Um, what are those, Mike? Those are the, um, those are the Scum Frog, Launch Frogs, River to Sea, Norries. We got some um, depths over here. Those are the Iobies. I mean, all sorts of different frogs in here, different shapes and sizes, and they all work 
in there pretty good. One thing that I will say, um, sometimes on the sides, the frogs will stick a little bit to the side of the box. So sometimes you may just have to kind of shake it around a little bit just because that plastic will kind of stick to the side of the box. But like I said, I mean, it's definitely a cool system, holds a lot of frogs and you're very organized. But like I said, I think the key to this box is just looking in the box and I can pick out every frog that I have in there. I know exactly what they are. I know what my frogs look like. And like I said, you get a good view at them or view of them in, uh, in this box. Like I said, versus this box here, you only really get a good view of what's on top. You gotta move them around. Again, not a big deal. We've been doing that for many years and it, it still works. But if you're looking for like a frog box to get super organized, not have to worry about rust, to see what you got, I mean, this is definitely a cool option. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this box here. I figured it'd be a good time to show you just because Mike thought his frog box was just so cool. Yes, it is. It is pretty cool. I mean, guys, just a few different options here to organize your frogs. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely past time to be fishing a frog. We should be out of fishing frog right now. And what are we doing? We're in a garage sweating with the fan off. <laughs> I'm not very bad much of the fan. No, can't turn fan on because it will just blow out the audio. Okay. But I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to cut this video short because it is hot in here. I'm dripping sweat. I need the fan on. Hopefully, you guys like this video. I know you guys you guys are here for the tackle. I know you guys love tackle videos, so hopefully you guys like the video, found a new idea or a new way to organize your frogs. Let me know down below about Mike's um, Mike's videos. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know. I may even watch them myself, you just never know. <laughs> but it'd be kind of cool to um, get your guys' thought on that. Let me know how you guys organize your frogs. Maybe let me know your favorite frog down below as well. If we don't have that one, maybe we'll pick it up and do some videos on it. But anyways, guys, let's wrap it up. Love you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. And I know it's towards the end of the video here. All right, if you're still here, let me know. But I wanted to kind of mention this now because I know the guys that stay to the end of the video are, are really the loyal guys. They always comment and like the video and all that. And that really helps push the videos. I really appreciate that. That's the best way to support the channel just by watching the videos and leaving a comment. Even if you don't say anything, leave me a fist bump. That helps push the videos. But I know the loyal guys are here to help us out. And you guys may not be into video games, right? But Big Shursky is, so if you have some kids that are in video games, Mike's got a channel. I mean, he's already had a few channels. I think this one's you going to stay dedicated, I think, to video games. We got 24 videos or something like that. You got 24 videos, so you want to shout yourself out, Mike. Quest Gaming. we we'll have to put that down in the description. Because if you search it, you can't find it. For whatever reason, I guess you search it, you can't find it. Yeah. But Quest Gaming. It'll be linked down below. Like I said, don't just sub if just to sub. If, you, if you're going to watch it, cool. If you got a kid that's into video games, cool. You know, check them out. I'm sure you guys will enjoy the video. And I think, um, is the upcoming video going to be on your setup in there? I already made it. Oh, you already made it? Yeah, it's up. It's up? Yeah. Or not the montage, is it? Yeah. That one? Yeah, totally. Yeah, and you need to do like a detailed video. Oh, oh yeah, okay. You know? Yeah. Like how you guys oh. did it. Because oh, he's yeah. got the, whoa, it's hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the uh, Gran Turismo wheel and shifter and gas pedal and all that. Yeah. And him and my dad built a little stand for it, which it's, it's pretty cool. So I think that would be a pretty good idea for a video. Yeah. So anyways, give him a sub. Check out my boy here. Love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.